11,000 migrants have been encountered at our nation's southern border in the last 24 hours with Border Patrol alone. Take out CBP in the Office of Field Operations, just Border Patrol, apprehending more than a half a million migrants since October 1st. They just hit that high watermark in the last 24 hours. Independent Mexican journalist Arden Cabello joins us from Acuna, Mexico, to talk about what he has seen at the border. And some of our viewers, Auden, may have seen you and I this week there in Eagle Pass, and you can see the shots of the migrants continuing to come. In the week we were there, Auden, there were migrants from Russia, Iran, Morocco, Lebanon, just in the last 24 hours. They're getting some Chinese. There were people from Tunisia, from Sudan, not just Venezuela, which is predominantly what's coming there. But you see you see it from the Mexican side. In Piedras, you're talking to the migrants. What, what do Americans need to know about what migrants are telling you on the southern side of the border? What are we missing? Well, I think the biggest thing, and it's very obvious from the footage, is that this is very well organized and orchestrated because by just by design, every single day, there's uh, hundreds, even thousands arriving to this border town in Piedras Negras. Uh, you seen the footage of them arriving on train, um, there's also footage of me walking with them as they're walking to the shelter, same shelter that, that I've documented. Um, migrants are being provided GPS coordinates on how to get to that shelter. And then like clockwork, every day they're escorted out uh, to the outskirts of town and directly to a crossing point at the Rio Grande River. And as soon as they cross, um, again, there's a footage of them going to the uh, Eagle Pass side and turning themselves into Border Patrol and being transported out. But I think the biggest point also that that's being missed from the Mexican side is that there's no media coverage, uh, either at the local or state level, uh, with all these caravans arriving in Piedras Negras. Um, if it wasn't for me and other uh, independent journalists covering this, I think the American public would not realize what's happening on the Mexican side. And um, one of those things that's driving the, the, the Mexican media not to cover this is, one, either they're complicit in it or because of the corruption they're being paid to keep shut. And, and um, <clears throat> Audit, we're, we're, we're looking live. I just want to show our viewers <clears throat> we're looking live here at a group of a few hundred that have just arrived in Eagle Pass and cross under the port of entry there. They'll be processed by Border Patrol, Piedras Negras that you're talking about just on on the other side. And, and you can see the the organization that Border Patrol has had to try and put together because they're coming in such large numbers. And, and when we look back at this and, and we see this, uh, fortunately, on our air and in your great reporting on social media every single day, you have a term for for why you think this is being driven. Why is this happening? What's driving these large numbers, Auden? Well, one of the questions that I've usually asked is, why are they crossing in Piedras Negras? And one thing I've noticed from the migrants is that as soon as they arrive there, they take a, a selfie or they communicate right back to their relatives and friends back home saying, I'm here at the border, I'm about to cross. And then you'll see the same thing in Eagle Pass. I'm already on the U.S. side, they take the selfie. So I call this the selfie effect. Um, and it's the messaging that migrants are getting, that they're getting into the U.S., and lean, lean, uh, being led into the country. And that's the messaging that they're getting. Um, I ask them, uh, have you seen images of migrants sleeping in the streets in Chicago, New York? And um, they're, they're aware of it, but they're still willing to take that risk. And they're not really getting any messaging from um, uh, policymakers in DC. The, the messaging that they're getting is from their own uh, relatives that have crossed into the US. They're all getting in. And I think that's the biggest uh, factor that's that's pushing or pulling these these migrants to border towns like Piedras Negras and Eagle Pass. Auden, Secretary Mayorkas and the U.S. Senate didn't invite you for those talks. We know Mayorkas on the Hill for a few hours today, even in these border talks. But if they were to fly you up, sit you down and let you advise them, what would be the number one thing you would advise lawmakers as they try and put together legislation to stop this? Well, the way I see it is that, um, you know, we constantly talk about the push factors um, out of their countries for these migrants. And, you know, it's very well documented as far as their tyrant governments, uh, whether it's crime, poverty, and they're being pushed out of the countries. But right now, what's outweighing all this is the pull factors into the United States. There, there are just too many incentives for them to come to this country. 
And to me, it's very simple. Just reverse the process. Implement push factors out of the U.S. and pull factors into their country of origin or neighboring countries that will accept all these migrants back. Uh, th eventually, they will have to self-deport if, if the, there's no government handouts, if there's no CBP-1, and, um, <clears throat> and they're being returned. The deportations are a big factor. We saw that w uh, two years ago with the Haitians. What stopped the flow here in Acuña and Del Rio was when um, the, there was immediate uh, flight deportations back to Haiti. And that's the biggest fear of migrants, uh, being deported back to their country of origin. Um, because again, two things about migrants. One, they're not going to remain in Mexico, and they're not voluntarily going to go back to the country of origin. So if you stop those two, reverse the pull and push factors, I think that uh, we immediately end the um, mass uh, influx at the border. Well, I hope some of those lawmakers were watching today. That is an absolutely great point to raise. If you look at the most recent data from ICE available, it was from fiscal year 2022. They deported 72,000 and they took in and encountered 2 million, almost 400,000. That's about a 3% rate of removal. Hopefully that number may go up. We'll see. Auden Cabello joining us live from Acuna, Mexico. Auden, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.